How's it going, everyone? So we're doing sort of an intro to Iceborne here. I'm Sky Sniper, and it's something new that we're trying here with the videos. So today we're really going to be going over some of the basic uses of the Clutch Claw, a new addition to the Monster Hunter realm with Iceborne that just launched. We'll be using the Ben Barrow as an example of this monster right here, as well as the training room as well. So the main thing that you can do with this claw thing is really just get in close and attack. You're doing some sort of damage. The extra bit is that you can also use Slinger Ammo to knock them or direct them into a wall to cause some sort of knock effect. The last two are going to be your most effective tools in any hunt. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that you can actually use this with your weapon out. So while you have it out, you can hook on anytime. You try to do a knock like that, then you can grapple on. And you can also move around the monster up and down a little bit but it uses quite a bit of stamina so I wouldn't recommend it. Try to aim for where you're going right on the head or something and then go for your damage. It's neat, clean and easy to just get some damage in and then get away from the monster and every time you use this it's gonna drop some sort of stinger almost so you can always pick it up get ready for another attack. As mentioned the damage phase isn't the most useful but if you're in a quick situation it's easy to get off and get out. Alright, so now using your Slinger Armor, right? Once you've done a few mounts and stuff, you can get some Slinger Armor from them. Get in, hit control, easily shoots out all your Slinger Armor. Everything that you have loaded up. You can pick it up again, and then go for another shot. It's generally meant to give sort of a knockback effect, and it's actually quite effective even against Master Rank monsters. The one thing that you do need to be aware of is if you're hanging onto these monsters, moving around, or even just clawing like this, you do fatigue really quickly and you're going to drop off and that leaves you in a very vulnerable position. So I'd avoid doing too much, just know what you're doing, either putting all the slingers in or doing some damage and then get off. The last two things that you can do is that once you hook on, you can sort of direct the monster by clawing him. Just right click, there you go, a simple turn, and then you can put your slinger on in and it sends it off. Probably to hit some sort of wall, that's sort of your goal to get a knock as such. It's an easy way to just get a monster knocked and get some high damage in. And I'll demonstrate on the bond in just a moment. Alright, let's take a look at some situations where you can actually use this. So as you can see at the start right here, it's a really good way of getting close to your enemy right at the start. Unfortunately, if you don't have earplugs or tremor resistance, you're going to be shocked right at the start. So I'd recommend putting on rock steady and then getting close up to this. And then you can get your hits right in, getting you instantly into the bottle. The other neat thing is that more than one teammate can do this. So if you're hunting in a group of two or four, as long as you guys don't grapple at the exact same position, both of you can latch on, get some instant damage, and then get into the fight. The one way they have balanced this grapple is that if this attack won't work if the monster is attacking, charging, or in rage mode. So always be aware of where the monster is and what he's doing. Wait for an opening. So as you can see here, both my attacks didn't work. And even this one he's about to attack so i get thrown off and it's unfortunate so wait till the monster finishes an attack and then go in for the kill so as i mentioned before the most effective thing you can do with this clutch claw is get a knock as quickly as possible and then go in for some high damage and this can be done within multiple phases in one area if you can get enough damage off and grapple at the most appropriate times. So you gotta understand the monster's patterns and then get the grapples. The big thing is be aware of your surroundings. If the monster is in an open area, go straight for the damage. If he's near a wall, you can use your claw or right click to just turn him, turn him again, until he's facing the wall, then put all your stinger ammo in. And that sends him right into the wall and into a knock. It's probably the most effective way that you can get him down. But do be aware that not every clutch claw you use is going to be able to do this. It may take one or two grapples before you actually get the knock. One of the last things I think in a fight that will be effective with this clutch is when the monster is trying to run away. You can easily get in a little bit extra by grappling on and getting that few couple kits in as they're running away. It won't stop them, generally won't stun them. Maybe if your team has done enough damage, that's the only time you'll see them actually stay in the same area. If not, they'll probably just keep moving forward, but you got your extra damage, so you're good. All right, and uh, I think that's about it, really. So the Clutch Claw can be a really effective tool, and I think a lot of hunters will be able to use it, even going into Iceborne and Master Rank. It's very effective whenever the monsters are running away. The last thing I'll point out here, just a small change that's come in Iceborne, 
if you're targeting a monster or running after them and they're about to go to sleep, they won't go to sleep if you're in the vicinity. So be aware of that, be away from them, and then you should be able to let them go to sleep, put your bombs as usual. So out here, this monster was super weak, as you can see, but it didn't go to sleep. Alright, so that's about it for this tutorial. I think it's a very effective tool. The clutch shot can come in handy for a lot of hunts, and I think it'll just speed up your hunts more than anything else. I was using all HR armor and weapons here, still able to do a master rank hunt very effectively. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below if you thought this was effective, useful, whatever else I can improve on, if there's anything else I should do. And uh, just look forward to the next one. Subscribe, please. Thank you.